Hi friends, good morning. In our present video, we are calculating the probabilities of different events in case of a family of three children. Friends, this is very important, very important. So, friends, a family of three children, a family of three children, if a family has three children, those three children, those three children can be born, can be born in the following eight ways. See, all the three can be boys or first two or boys and third is girl, middle is girl and first one is girl. And uh, another four cases, all the three, all the three are girls, all the three are girls and last one is boy, middle one is boy and first one is a boy so we have we can have eight outcomes we can have eight total number of outcomes we can have total number of outcomes eight in case of a family of three children those three children can be any of these eight outcomes okay friends now let us calculate the probabilities of different events basing on these outcomes so for all these things, for all these things, probabilities are favorable outcomes by total number of outcomes. Total number of outcomes, of course, 8. Now we are going to calculate the favorable outcomes. Favorable outcomes by total number of outcomes will give us the probabilities of all these events. Okay, friends. First one, first one, probability of all boys. Probability of all boys. All the three children are boys. We have only one outcome, we have only one outcome where all the three children are boys. So, the required probability is favorable outcomes 1, total number of outcomes 8. So, 1 by 8 is the required probability. In the same case, probability of all girls, probability of all girls, we have, we have only, we have only one case, we have only one case, we have only one outcome where all the three children are girls. So, favorable outcomes 1, favorable outcomes 1, of course, total number of outcomes 8. So, 1 by 8 is the required probability. And then, probability of all boys or all girls, all boys or all girls. So, we have, we have two favorable outcomes. All boys, all girls, all boys, all girls, we have two favorable outcomes. So, probability of all boys or all girls, 2 by 8, that is equal to 1 by 4 is the required probability. 1 by 4 is the required probability. Then coming to only one boy, only one boy, only one boy in the sense, there must be only exactly one boy and the other two must be girls. So, the question can be asked like this also. Probability of one boy and two girls. So, both are both mean same. So, only one boy. In how many outcomes we have only one boy? See, in these three outcomes, in these three outcomes we have only one boy. We have only one boy. So, your favorable outcomes are three. Favorable outcomes are three. Total number of outcomes 8. So only one boy. Only one boy. Here in this case there is no boy. In this case, in these three cases, there are two boys. In this case, three boys. But we want only one boy. We want only one boy. And the next one, probability of at least one boy. Probability of at least one boy. At least one boy means one boy, two boys, three boys. That means uh, there should be no girl. There should be no girl. At least uh, one boy means uh, one boy. You have to calculate the outcomes of one boy outcomes, two boy outcomes, all the three boy outcomes. So, except this one, except this one, in the remaining seven outcomes, in the remaining seven outcomes, so you can find at least one boy. In this case, you have one boy. In these three cases, you have two boys. In this case, you have three boys. So, 
in total you have seven outcomes you have seven outcomes where at least one boy so only in this case only in this case you don't find any boy so the favorable outcomes are seven total number of outcomes of course eight so that is the probability of at least one boy and then coming to next one probability of at least one boy and one girl so the family should have one boy and one girl one boy and one girl see friends in this case there is no girl in this case there is no girl so we don't want this we don't want this in this case in this case there is no boy in this case there is no boy but we must have one girl or one boy so in this case there is no girl in this case there is no boy so we don't want these two outcomes in the remaining six outcomes three plus three in the remaining six outcomes we have at least one boy and one girl so favorable outcomes six total number of outcomes eight six by eight that is equal to three by four is the required problem and then coming to next question probability of exactly two boys probability of exactly two boys so there should be only two boys of course two boys means the third child third child may be third child must be girl so the problem can be asked like this also probability of exactly two boys and one girl probability of exactly two boys or the problem can also be asked like probability of two boys and one girl two boys and one girl means exactly two boys so let us calculate the probability of exactly two boys exactly two boys here here in these three outcomes in these three outcomes you have exactly two boys boys two boys two boys here you have three boys we don't want this in these three cases in these three cases you have only one boy we don't want this in this case of course there is no boy we don't want this so we want only these three outcomes where there are exactly two boys so the probability of getting exactly two boys is favorable outcomes 3 total number of cases 8 3 by 8 is the required for these three outcomes are favorable for getting exactly two boys then the probability of at least two boys at least two boys means exactly two boys means only two boys at least two boys means it can be two boys and also three boys two boys plus three boys so two boys outcomes we have three and this three boys also have to be calculated so in total we have four outcomes in these three outcomes in these three outcomes you have two boys in this outcome you have three boys so at least two means two boys plus more than two that is three boys so total outcomes four by 8 4 by 8 that comes to 1 by 2 and the coming to next question at most two boys at most two boys means two boys are less than two boys at most two boys means two boys are less than two boys that is two boys you have to add two boys one boy no boy two boys one boy no boy so in these three cases you have two boys in these three cases you have one boy in this case no boy so all together all together you have you have seven outcomes favorable outcomes seven outcomes are favorable at most two boys at most two boys means two boys are less than two boys that is two boys one boy no boy you we don't take we don't take three boys we don't take this event so the remaining seven outcomes the remaining seven outcomes are favorable so 7 by 8 is the required probability and probability of no girl probability of no girl it means probability that all are boys probability of no girl means probability that all are boys all our boys we have only one outcome that is 1 by 
8 is the required probability. Okay, friends. Thank you. Have a nice day.